Hi everyone! In this video I will show you how you can make some beautiful wooden toy blocks. I will be making natural blocks and colorful blocks. Making wooden blocks is really easy and the process is really straightforward. To begin with you need straight lumber. I am sanding the surface of the wood now before I cut it into blocks. Now the chopping can begin. I am making 4 of these wooden block sets. I am always using painter's tape to prevent the tear out, but I think I need a new saw blade. Yay, because I have a lathe now, I can also make round blocks. How awesome is that? I'm really happy so far with my Far Tools slate. Thanks Far Tools. Turning one long cylinder with the same diameter is still really hard for me, but I was happy with the end result. When you want to cut round towels on the miter saw, always be sure you have a firm grip on it. Once we've cut all the blocks, we can slowly go on to the sanding part of the job. And making 4 block sets, oh man, it was a lot of sanding. After sanding on the machine, there was also some hand sanding involved. Between all the sanding, I also made these triangle blocks. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Sometimes you can vote for a future project. For making the bridges, I'm clamping two blocks together and I'm using the hole saw to make the hole. I was taking it slow because I wanted to prevent burn marks. Now I can use the spindle sander to sand the inside smooth. My first plan was to make 32 blocks, but I was not happy with the result, so I made some new longer flat blocks. And now I have 37 blocks in one block set. I made 6 of these flat blocks because they give the kids more possibilities to build stuff. Now it's time to make the box. Here I was routing a rabbit in the planks for the box. Later on I realized that it would be stronger if I made a roof instead of a rabbit. So if you're planning to make such a block set with a box, I would suggest you to cut a roof instead of a rabbit. I'm sanding the inside of the plank smooth and then I can cut the bottom panel. The company Tutok sent me this shoulder plane. I used it to chamfer the edges of the box. It came in really handy. I'm chamfering the inside edge of the box before I assemble it. Trouble. 
Making a mitered box and cutting the mitres correct is still a real challenge for me. I've cut the mitres a bit too short, but I can always trim the edge of the bottom panel so it will fit. But when I'm struggling, my dad is always kind enough to help me. Thank you very much, dad. Now that it fits correctly, I can glue the box together. Using a straw to remove glue in inside corners is really handy. I'm making the box a bit stronger with installing some dowels in the miters. Now that the box is assembled, I can use the shoulder plane again. I'm doing the outside edges. Because you're using a hand plane, you can plane in the two directions. You can see how the grain is running and now you can prevent tear out. The box is ready, the blocks are ready, so let's give them some color with Osmo! When opening the can, be sure to stir well. It's really easy to apply. You can do it with a brush or with a paper towel. After 20 minutes, you need to wipe off the excess. Once again, my mom was kind enough to come and help me paint the blocks. She's always ready to paint or oil everything I make. Thank you very much, mom. And to my sister, a big thank you for all your support and kind words every time again. You can get a discount of 10% on your order on Osmo Nederland with the code Jolien Osmo. Hi, thanks for watching until the end. Did you like the video? Please give it a thumbs up and share the video with your friends. Oh, and let me know in the comments down below if you think I should do Prepare Yourself for Christmas Season 2. And if you're new to this channel and you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out Season 1 of Prepare Yourself for Christmas Number 1. Season 1, I mean. So, let me know if you want Season 2. Bye! And a big thank you to Osmo Nederland for sending me these beautiful colors. Thank you, Osmo.